Okay, in this video, we are going to show how to actually deploy sample data to this tenant. Um, one thing that you will need is a new tenant um, that has been created. If you need help with that, there's a, a previous video um, talking about all the back office administration in order to create the tenant. So the assumption here is that you have a tenant administrative user, um, in our case, test demo admin, and you have a uh, empty tenant, um, and you have the obviously the tenant URL. Um, Depending on the URL you have, chances are it's an employee self-service um, URL, which point you'll, um, log, once you log in, you'll log into an empty uh, ESS portal here. Um, in order to get to the, the administrator interface or the, the backend agent interface, click this little drop-down, go to agent interface, new tab will open, you'll notice the URL changes slightly, um, but always indicating your uh, tenant administrator. Um, since this was a the very first time um, being logged into the agent interface, um, this little pop-up uh, comes up, at which point you can quickly and easily click the deploy sample data. Um, however, I'm going to show you um, how to get to that uh, same screen um, without actually uh, leveraging this particular uh, pop-up, just in case you've already logged in and you did not deploy the first time. So you're going to click no thanks on that if you, if you get it. Um, so once here, you'll see you have an empty dashboard. There's no data to display because there is no sample data. Um, so we're going to go up here to our mega menu. We're going to go to administration and we are going to go to, under the utility section, we're going to go to sample data. Um, this is the sample data screen. Um, you can see that there has been nothing started. Um, so we're just going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to click deploy sample data. Uh, quick confirmation here to continue um, and it will take some time. This whole process takes mm, probably between 15 and 30 minutes depending on the, the environment that you're in. Um, we'll just go ahead and wait for this to get started. The first handful of things should go relatively quick, as I recall. Um, you can see if you scroll to the bottom, that sample data is being loaded. Um, and then this should uh, update here momentarily uh, for us. There we go. First one is complete. Um, you can see that uh, that process is complete. We can go to try financial management. Um, we're going to go ahead and open this in a new tab just so we can go look at and confirm that data itself was actually loaded. Uh, loading up the financial asset, uh, fixed asset components. Uh, sure enough, we now have some sample data in here. Just the fact that there's data here in this table indicates that some sample data was loaded. Um, so we're going to assume that everything else is going to go well. Um, you can see that uh, we're in the process of deploying sample users, groups, and locations. Um, and you can continue to monitor this page um, as it carries forward. You can see that uh, you know, users, groups, and locations completed, as well as a number of other things just in the last refresh. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, pause the recording and just wait for this to finish. Again, it should take somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes for the entire process to complete. Okay, here we are. Um, sample data has been deployed and everything in the uh, deploy sample data screen is showing complete. So with that, uh, this little activity is completed.